I love a giant baby story. I love giant baby stories almost as much as I love babies born outside of the hospital you, you mean like giant babies I or mean, babies of giants? I mean a 15 pound baby right there. Wow. Yeah. Wow. The, you know, mother, that, the mother is still alive. I was getting my makeup alive. done this morning. Still alive. <laughs> Look, at, it's before and after. The, uh, ah. the, baby, the baby's mother lived. And uh, <laughs> that. Uh, no, that hot pineapple, yeah, no, no. you would have felt yeah, yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah. That one. Yeah, yeah there's not Ooh. enough epidural in, uh, no. in the world. You know, my wife had uh, both of the kids with no. Uh, oh, medicine. she did the whole. I don't know how that. Did I, she go into her third eye, right? I, I, she's an extraordinary woman. I, you know, if I have like a slight headache, I'm, I'm, I have like four Advil. Right, know. right. She, she, two 10 pound babies. What? No, 10 pounds? Oh, yeah, we're big. Oh. Weatherly's make them big. Oh, she was in the shower with about six people, and I, and I came and I said, I said, I, is, can, I, can I get in here? <laughs> she was like, get away from me. <laughs> well, so uh, she wanted me to make her laugh, and so I told a story as she was going through her final contractions um, that actually she laughed through the final uh, burst of contractions. No kidding. I can't tell you the story because it involves um, <laughs> me at camp when I was 12, and it's, it's a Well, you'll tell us during time. commercial break. Okay. okay. For the first six days, I did not poop. For the first... <laughs> For the first six days, and I don't know if it's because I was yes. eating stuff. And no, I was it's called camp-induced constipation. Yeah, I was not pooping. Yes, I see. And uh, we were on a uh, we were on an overnight hike into the mountains. Oh yeah, I know the story. <laughs> and I uh, all of a sudden I I was uh, I was leaning over looking to see if there was a salamander that had was sunbathing or something, and I knew I had about six seconds before I was going to give birth to my own little my own little love child. So I um. So I just ripped my pants down, and uh, in front of the entire camp, I, I uncoiled what looked like an 18-foot bow from scratch. And that's my story. Thank you very much. Thank you.